have no young person with us this morning, but we'll still do something for children's message anyways. And uh, just a couple of things before we start. Uh, you do have an insert in the bulletin about the Celtic Christmas. That is a, uh, a gospel family group that came down from Prince Edward Island. One of our local churches has brought them down here. They're going to be at the Mulberto uh, Auditorium. So it's uh, some uh, Irish dancing, folk dancing, and gospel music done by this group. So uh, it should be a good time. And I encourage people to invite folks to come out and see them. Uh, we don't get to see something like that in our small community very often. So um, I encourage that. The other thing is, before I have the children's message, I have a draw for each and every one of you. Everybody goes, uh oh, what does that mean? I would like each and every one of you at the end of the service, before you leave this building, find someone you may not know in the congregation and talk to one another. Find out a little bit about who may be here that you don't know. Uh, does everyone in here know everyone else? Yeah. I know. This is one of the things I have to try to do as a pastor, try to get to know everyone. And as you come into a sanctuary, we all sit in our same spots, we sit near the same people usually, and not everyone has a chance to go down to the fellowship time afterwards. So I would encourage people just to, to seek out someone you don't know and strike up a conversation. Because quite frankly, folks, this is practice. <laughs> This will be practice for those of us who are going to be in the congregation regularly, Sunday after Sunday, for when someone new comes in the door, to open up the sanctuary, open up our body, and make them feel more welcome. So consider this practice. Find someone you don't know and talk to them. Taylor's not here this morning, and it kind of ties into the theme I just had. Is I have this little ball. I went to a... a last couple of weekends, not only Thanksgiving, but the before, a, a little conference, a uh, Christian gathering, and they passed out little items. And one of the things they passed out was this little plastic ball that says, pass it on. And what they were doing with this was they were encouraging us to, to literally do that with our faith. When we see someone out in the, in the community that needs a, a boost, we can tell is uh, struggling perhaps a little bit, to, to reach out the hand of faith, of Jesus Christ, and pass on what it is we believe. And I just was going to pass this back and forth for Taylor, she's not here. And so she could have the, the thought that even someone who's that young could say, you know, church is a great thing. Jesus is my friend, and I would like him to be yours as well. So pass it on. Is there someone who might be willing to try to catch this ball? Oh, Andy got his hand up first. Oh, <laughs> Perhaps the pastor's a little too rambunctious and is passing it on. 